Okay, so now we enable expert mode. So since we have GPS uh, hooked up to our flight controller as well on UART 6, we also need to check uh, to change the sensor output and select GPS here and click on save and reboot. And in the configuration tab, uh, you just scroll down to the GPS settings, turn on GPS. Um, we have a U-Blocks, I believe, and just click on the U-Blocks protocol. So we'll just set to home point as once. So even so, even if I land somewhere on the field, it's not going to record a new home point uh, wherever that is. And just select auto detect. Right. Okay. So. Once you have that, uh, we'll just click on Autobot as well. Uh, but if you have a BN180, you might want to, you know, f fix your your BOD to around 56K. So to check your GPS settings, there is, there's going to be a GPS tab. Uh, once again, you have to have enabled expert mode uh, enabled. If you bring your quad outside, you will be able to find, uh, you know, uh, a couple of satellites would, would appear here with their signal strength and uh, also show you how many satellites you are connected to. And we need to go to fail safe tab. Now, uh, currently it has a stage one setting. So this is when your, your receiver has just uh, fail safe, just lost communication with your transmitter. And you normally just keep this on hold. So whatever was the last uh, switch positions is going to keep it at that. And uh, for stage two, you want it to be set to drop so that uh, when you fail safe, it's just going to drop to the ground. Now, since we have a GPS uh, module installed as well, we want to go here to the GPS rescue settings and we just uh, change. Uh, the defaults are pretty okay for, you know, for stars, but um, yeah, for now, um, I'll probably, you will probably want to keep this uh, on, uh, on the defaults. Uh, if you're flying in a place that's uh, pretty windy, you might want to raise the angle just to make sure that, uh, you know, your quad is able to battle those winds uh, and be able to uh, go home, but you don't we probably we don't want to set this to more than 45 degrees because Then your quad might just you know drop out of the sky. So for now uh, We'll turn on GPS rescue to be able to edit the the fields and I'm just going to lower this to 50 because I'm still going to test this out, but uh, Once the test is good, I'll probably just you know bring it back to 200 and uh, the descent rate I'm also going to increase to around 2 and the minimum satellites uh, I'm going to set to six. So I'm also going to turn on allow arming without fix. This is so that I can fly freestyle even with even if I don't have the minimum number of satellites uh, fixed. So, uh, but if you if you are expecting rescue mode to work, you need to make sure that you have the minimum satellites before arming your quad. And lastly, we just need to click save and reboot. So once again, we head on over to the modes tab and uncheck hide unused modes. And we are just going to be looking for uh, like a GPS rescue mode, or I think this is going to be just uh, the fail safe. So we can simulate the fail safe and uh, we can see if we, if our quad is uh, going back. Uh, so ideally, you're, you, you'd want to test this somewhere where you can retrieve your quad. So we just tick on fail. Uh, we just uh, add range on fail safe. Right, so back in the modes tab, just want to show you the final modes that I've set for my quad. And aux one, I've basically set the whole range uh, to arm except for low. So middle, high, it doesn't matter. It's going to arm. And aux two, I just always, always have these uh, on aux two. Uh, middle will be for horizon and uh, high will be for angle mode, you know, just in case. And obviously, acro will be in the low position and the default position. I've set turtle mode on aux three and uh, and beeper on the same switch to save on switches. Uh, and beeper will be on the high position. And on aux four, I have the VTX. Uh, on and I have this on a knob but you can put this on a switch if you prefer and um, I've put a failsafe on aux 7 so it doesn't get mixed up with the rest of them so aux 5 is uh, used in adjustments again this is uh, this is used for switching the OSD profile uh, I have a full video on this but uh, just, just this is just to give you a preview